and that would serve as the uh, information relative sa preparation nila to accept and accommodate the admission of the patients. And may tatlo po itong uh, uh, hospital from LGU to hospital and hospital back to LGU. Ano pa ang ginawa ng Sultan Kudarat One Hospital Command Center? So we did some healthcare provider network connection. Nagkandak po kami ng training in cooperation and coordination, coordination sa provincial health office na ano, under Ma'am uh, Gina Galinato. So hindi po kami na nakulang, ganito na lang tayo. So we have two uh, cross borders na sinasabi natin. At this moment, let me tour you sa loob ng Sultan Kudarat One Hospital Command Center para makita nyo po how we do our operations. Ma'am, pwede natin yung play? Thank you, thank you very much, sir, Colonel Ringa, and um, salamat din kay Gov DPA um, for his um, wholehearted support to uh, the reports. And uh, time check is already 12 uh, noon, so we'll break for lunch, and now we'll be back at uh, 1 o'clock. So the meeting is on in prayer. Americans are presenters, no? Kanina pa ako kasi ako yung nakikinig ako nang sabi ko, wow, ang COVID talaga may ginawang mabuti <laughs> sa buhay natin. So we're trying our best to reach as uh, hanggang masa. And at the very start, from the Sultan Kudarat province, I was already happy because it has expanded itself to other deceased entities. Kasi it's mostly COVID. So this is a committee in reproductive health. At kung doon sa report ni Dr. Rabaya, puro tanahin kababaihan itong nagkarapata ito, Dok? Tama ito. So in, in terms of oh, referral. So it is a tracking mechanism, actually. It's really very, very good because it is already expanding sa mga ibang-ibang classes. So referral, kung sa mga medical parents, we cannot just refer anybody. So because this is a tra tracking mechanism, so anybody can call, parang ganda si sir sa Sultan Kudaras. Anybody can call na magsabi na may sakit ito, anong sakit ito, then they will just refer. So anybody pala, pwede. No. For the Sultan Kudaras case, yung mga private hospitals na pinibisita namin individually during orientation, they signify their intention through a written uh, letter that we are volunteering to join the One Hospital Command Center as a service hospital. So yun po yung pinakawakan namin, kaya naka, namibigyan namin sila sa system ay nakakapasok po sila sa amin because of that letter of intention that they uh, gave us signifying their intention to join us. We conduct namin a healthcare provider network because we have linked ourselves sa mga BHWs so if ever there are community referrals, galing mismo sa mga patient, tinatawagan po namin ng BSW to confirm kung tama po yung mga binibigay nilang data or to check na mga BSW sa mga barangay, napuntahan nila yung mga nagko-community referral na yan to check kung doon sa mga informations na binibigay sa amin. Uh, so with that, uh, if ever we refer them to the hospital, sabi namin, punta mo na sa birthing home or sa radio, provide po namin sa kanila yung involved information. So, yun lang po ang makikita namin na kaya kami nagpukurso na i-part ng uh, advocacy ng One Hospital Command is to educate yung mga grassroots on the healthcare provider network yes. part ng integration natin para makikita nila kung saan tayo and basically doon sa mga uh, orientations namin sa mga hospitals uh, pinapaliwanag din namin yung when to refer and when not to refer. Magkaintindihan tayo kailan nyo pa kami ipagdalan sa amin or kailan pwede naman dyan sa inyo lang kung kaya nyo naman yung kanoan. So that we can uh, reduce the time and we can save lives sa paraan na yun. 
Kasi mahirap din na dito transport natin na pwede naman palitan sa inyo. Ang yun na overpopulate also yung mga higher level of hospital care management natin. Po, meron tayong patient. Paano natin ipadala sa isang hospital na hindi natin alam yung capacity niya? Meron pa ba siyang space for that patient? And the one hospital comment also will help us uh, prepare the hospital that who will receive the patient, no? Halimbawa, it is an OB patient who is in emergency situation, then uh, the hospital that will receive the patient will prepare the case for the patient. No? So, yun rin po ang, ang paganda ng one hospital po man. But we, the primary care provider, will decide saan natin ipadal yung patient. To the RHU, to the level 1 hospital, to the level 3 hospital po. Yun po. And I'd like also to ask pala, sasagot po natin yung mga complaints ng mga mga box po. So, because naka-record po yun, real time yun sir, no? Yung ginagawa ni OHCC in SA po. Yes. This is the referral system we're talking about in universal health. Adapt, practice. And so to think, uh, uh, sa ngayon, um, Ang objective na natin is from policies to practice. We're seeing this today. Uh, SK, South Coast, Sarangani, and of course, North Coast. <laughs> you know, the basis cover. First delay, second, and third delays. Okay, na nag take off na yung one hospital to mark natin. It's just a manifestation na we are succeeding in um, translating policies into practice. Diba? Guidelines to practice of the one hospital demand. So, yun ang ano natin sa sa mga activities natin na to para matutukan talaga na wala talaga mamamatay na natin. Lahat ng tao is makaka-access makaka Kasi we have, we have the resources. And then we have the commitment. Tayo, we are very much committed na to pursue those goals. Na implement talaga at uh, nakakatulong sa kamabayan natin, di ba Chris? Pregnancy Sunday. And uh, we are very happy na nandito tayo, sharing tayo. Uh, because uh, we need each other to learn. Can learn from you, you can learn from us. And uh, of course, sharing of resources. So whatever resources we have, bigger resources that we have, we can share. Para isa rin naman yung clients din natin.